2 Timothy 1, verses 5 to 10. I have been reminded of your sincere faith, which first lived in your grandmother Lois and in your mother Eunice, and I am persuaded now lives in you also. For this reason, I remind you to fan into flame the gift of God, which is in you through the laying on of my hands. For God did not give us a spirit of fear and timidity, but a spirit of power, of love, and of self-discipline. So do not be ashamed to testify about our Lord or ashamed of me, his prisoner. But join with me in suffering for the gospel by the power of God, who has saved us and called us to a holy life. Not because of anything we have done, but because of his own purpose and grace. This grace was given us in Christ Jesus before the beginning of time, but it has now been revealed through the appearing of our Savior, Christ Jesus, who has destroyed death and has brought life and immortality to light through the gospel. Let's pray. Father God, we have sinned, we are not perfect, and we lay before you all of the things that we, all of the ways that we have fallen short. We cannot live up to, to the perfectness of your son. And yet we continue to strive to, and we ask for your help in doing that. We pray against the spirit of fear, the spirit of timidity, and we ask for your help to be bold in doing what is right and spreading the gospel. 